Hey guys, Christine Vaccaro, your gynecologist and sexual medicine specialist in the DC area. And this Friday, I thought I would just do a quick thing about female genital anatomy. Why? Because, well, we just don't get enough education on female sexual anatomy and sexual health. So here we go, quick uh, anatomy 101. Um, I love models. Um, so here is a model that I like to use often. This is um, the vulva. Um, and I'm just gonna name all the structures here. We have the clitoral hood, clitoral glands, labia majora, labia minora, the vaginal opening, the urethral opening, and this area around the opening is called the vulvar vestibule. Now this is a really cool model because I can detach um, the clitoris and show it by itself. So this is the full clitoris. There's a glands, a body, um, which also includes this area. There's legs called cura, um, and there's also bulbs. Um, so this is a huge actual large structure, which is exactly um, the same as the male penis. The only big difference is obviously is the urethra runs underneath it instead of through it and maybe the size. Um, another really cool model that I think almost none of you have seen because it's a prototype, um, and I'm just going to layer it on here, drum roll. Um, this, if this was the external vulva, this is an internal vaginal cast. Super cool. So you can see um, the, the outside here is a casting of a vulva. This is the um, first beginning part of the vagina, so the lower vagina. And then this is the mid vagina, the upper vagina. This is actually a little indentation. Um, I don't know if it's hard to see there, of the cervix pushing into the vagina. And you can see how wide and spacious the upper vagina is. Um, again, this is the area where childbirth happens, right? The birth canal. So it's actually quite a large and distensible space. I often get patients ask me um, if they're considering a pessary for a prolapse or if they're considering um, hormone replacement therapy with a vaginal ring called the fem ring, which is one of my favorites that provides local and full body uh, hormone replacement therapy. They often ask me like, well, where does this go? Can I place it in the wrong place? Um, you know, am I gonna feel it? And I often use this model of the internal okay. vaginal cast just to show them, again, how much space is in the upper vagina. So it's, um, it should not feel uncomfortable at all. It should fit perfectly in this space um, and not feel uncomfortable. Now, of course, every vagina is different. Not all women are exactly the same, but that at least gives you an idea of um, the internal anatomy of the vagina.